probably my body telling me, hey, I don't like it anymore. Take a hint, Narissa. Hey guys, it's Narissa. Welcome back to my channel and I have a grocery haul to share with you today. I spent $113 at Aldi's but I found some awesome stuff and I don't know how much I spent at Walmart. It actually I think was about $400 but I got cat food, cat litter, um, some non-food items and kid items that would bring that grocery dollar down. So I will leave the number that I spent on groceries at Walmart right here. So I have a pretty hefty haul. I was on vacation last week and I ate some yummy food that I am going to try and recreate over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for some of those um, recipe videos because so good. Um, so let me show you what I got. I found some really great deals at Aldi's. I don't know if you have an Aldi's around you, go check them out. They had a lot of like clearance items and they also had a lot of food that was on clearance that wasn't, um, anywhere near the sell by date. So let me show you what I got. All right, so first starting off with all these, I always grab these protein bars. They're really not protein bars. They do have 10 grams of protein. You know, they're basically granola bars, but they are a quick lunch or a quick snack to grab when you don't have any time and you're hungry. So I guess there could be worse things, but they do have 10 grams of protein, so that's good. And then I usually grab these wheat crackers when, when I'm at Aldi's. And then this was like a clearance item and I had not seen it before because I don't usually pay too much attention to the coffee at Aldi, but this cold brew toasted coconut concentrate, coffee concentrate, it was only $2.99. I think it was regularly much more than that. I'll buy anything that's coconut flavor. So I had to grab that. And I love iced coffee in the morning. And then I don't normally have avocado oil on hand. The healthy oil that I usually have on hand is olive oil. And I'm gonna switch it up and try avocado oil. Is I have no self control. I saw these, I bought them. I shouldn't have bought them. I ate more than half of them. I need to binge on more things like this, this fruit. I just went on vacation and I bought the best mangoes in Florida. And I love mango, but I live in the Midwest and I don't oftentimes have the opportunity to buy good mangoes and the last several times I bought mangoes they were not good so these feel nice and soft and ripe and good so we'll see fingers crossed that they're good all right and then onions I needed some onions I grabbed some sweet onions from Aldi's pink lady these are organic pink lady apples they were half off at Aldi's I don't know I don't know what what's going on and they looked okay they don't look super old so grab some of those I have an awesome recipe for slow cooker pepper jack cauliflower bake. I, it's so good, but I've made it several times and I'm gonna make it again as a side for a dinner one night. And then avocados, I just grabbed a couple. I don't wanna waste them. I just grabbed a couple because I like to eat avocado toast in the morning sometimes. I'm loving avocado right now too. Cilantro, I always like to keep cilantro on hand and I'm so upset that I don't have any in the garden, which I normally do. This cucumber was only 50 cents. You can't beat it. Freeze dried strawberries are a snack that the kids absolutely love. So every time I go to all these, I buy at least one of these bags of freeze dried strawberries. They have other fruit too. These, do not sleep on these. If you've never had these, go to Aldi right now and get them. They are so good and they're Bobby approved. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. These are so good. They're only 160 calories for eight cookies, so it's a great snack. And there's only a few ingredients, coconut cashews, coconut sugar, cassava flour, and sea salt. These are so good. Really hard to not eat more than eight cookies. All right, I also grabbed a couple bags of garden salad. I have a week or so before it expires. I grabbed some cherries. All these had no strawberries. I was so upset. They had a ton of cherries though, so I grabbed cherries and grapes and a thing of raspberries and a thing of blueberries i grabbed two bunches of bananas grabbed a pack of limes this is for the to pair with the cilantro and some of the other islands like recipes that i ate on my vacation including these brussels sprouts i had the best brussels sprouts i've ever had in my life at a restaurant in florida and I'm gonna be making these, and I'm also gonna be using this glaze to try out with some other vegetables and see if that will make me eat my vegetables because I ate all these Brussels sprouts on vacation. Can you believe that? These are actually another vegetable that I do enjoy eating. It's hard for me to eat vegetables, they're not my favorite, but I really do like these sugar snap peas. And then I grabbed some coleslaw mix because I also got some jicama 
from Walmart and I'm gonna make some jicama, jicama slaw, uh, cilantro, lime, slaw. Something I had on vacation and it was so good. I'm gonna try and make it myself. This is what's gonna ruin my diet all week. This garlic naan bread, oh my gosh. Or you know, me trying to eat a little bit more low carb. This is so good. If you guys have never tried this, this garlic naan flatbread, it is so good. I literally will just eat it by itself without even using it in a recipe or anything. I also grabbed some, some salmon. This is something that I've grabbed at Aldi's the last several times I've gone and we've had salmon. The kids don't like it, but my husband and I can share this piece and um, it's a little something different. I've been getting this lunch meat lately, this Castle Wood Reserve Oven Roasted Chicken Breast. It's really good. It kind of tastes like deli, but it's also cheaper. And then green peppers, got a three pack of green peppers. This is for snacking and recipes and sweet potatoes. I do like sweet potato and uh, cinnamon just alone. It's really, really yummy to me. And then I also got some paper plates at all these. These um, are fairly affordable compared to some other paper plates these days. I really try to conserve these and not use as many and use more uh, washable plates. All right, and then I also got a couple non-food items. I got this rug. It's a plush rug, two feet by four feet for $6 for $5.99. And then I got some of these face washing cloths. These are awesome. I have a couple of them that I got from Amazon, but these are seven and a half inches by 15 inches. And there's five of them for $4.99. So that is an awesome deal too. I would definitely recommend getting some of these if you don't have any. They really take off your makeup easy. That's all I got at Aldi's and let me show you Walmart. Okay, from Walmart I got, oh, batteries. That's not a food item. I was out of baking powder and I've been baking a lot lately so I needed some baking powder to replace my old stuff. I grabbed some coffee. My husband has been requesting this McCafe uh, medium roast. This is the coffee he likes these days. And then we're trying to get off the soda, like a soda. That sounds weird when I say it. Pop, soda, Pepsi. What do you guys say? I'm from Illinois and I say soda, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I just, I drink way too much. My husband drinks way too much. It's so dang expensive these days too. So this is his water enhancer flavor of choice, this orange blast. So I got him four of those. That will last him two weeks. He drinks a lot, a lot of water, a lot of orange flavored water. I got a couple bags of sun chips for the boys. Then I also got some of these pickle flavored crispy dillies. Uh, Jen Chapin, uh, she's a YouTuber. She's awesome. She mentioned these on one of her grocery hauls and I was like, oh, I added it to the cart right away because it sounded so good. So those would be good salad toppers. And then I got some tortilla strips. I do like to have some taco salad for lunch after a taco night. So these will be convenient to just add to the salad. 72% cocoa dark chocolate squares. Put one in your lunch. It's like a little sweet treat after lunch. It will help curb that sweet tooth to where you can move on with the rest of your day. I got these Z-Bars for my oldest son. He likes these. And then some Velveeta cups, Velveeta macaroni and cheese cups. These are good to have in your pantry whenever you need a little side dish for the kids when they don't like. For example, jicama slaw. So this is the first time I've ever bought a jicama. Look at it. It's huge. Simply peel, cut, slice, or shred. I will share the recipe with you in a later video. I got some Dum Dums to put in the pantry. We were all out, so you know, kids. This is my sugar substitute of choice. A little goes a long way. I use it in coffee and I will use it in like baking recipes to cut down on some of the sugar. It's pretty good. So I got some pineapple juice because I also had the best drink ever on vacation. It had strawberry syrup, which is why I got this strawberry syrup, pineapple juice, as well as lime juice and what else? Rum. So I got some of these so that I could have a drink and remind me of my wonderful vacation with my mother. And then my husband, he only requested one six pack of Diet Dew bottles. So this is all the soda he's going to drink for the next couple of weeks. So that's awesome. All right, let me show you the, what else I got. 
This is the Equate High Performance Protein Shake, the caramel flavor I've been liking. There's 30 grams of protein per serving, and I use half of a carton for my protein coffee in the morning, so that's 15 grams. Um, there's, I think it's 160 calories. Yeah, 160 calories per carton, so you use half. That's 80 calories. It's really good. I, I look forward to it in the morning. And then my husband wanted me to get him a French baguette, and then I wasn't sure all these had Brussels sprouts, so I went ahead and got some Brussels sprouts on my Walmart grocery pickup order. So we'll have, we'll have lots of crispy Brussels sprouts coming up. Now this, anybody who has a garden who has a ton of tomatoes inside or produce that you've grown in the garden inside knows that the fruit flies just come with the territory. And any of the homemade fruit fly traps that I've made just really haven't worked great. So I got some of these to try. We'll see. These are actually party plates in the party section. Check that out, money saving tip there. And they're perfect for like heating something up in the microwave or making some chicken nuggets in the microwave, whatever. And they're a lot cheaper than the ones that you can buy in the uh, paper aisle at Walmart. This is my splurge purchase. $30, $30 for an eight inch pan. Can you believe that? Hopefully it's like the best pan ever. And if it is, I'll let you know. But it's Ninja, Ninja has some awesome products. So I'm trying it. We cook a lot of eggs. We have chickens and eggs. And I am so sick of eggs sticking to the pan without like half a stick of butter, you know? I'm excited to try it. Maybe we'll try it tonight. I need to wash it up. All right, and then a giant bag of chicken nuggets. Those are always good to have in the freezer if you have grandkids or kids or cousins or whatever. I grabbed some cheeses, mozzarella, and mild cheddar for all the things. And then this is another purchase that was um, initiated by Jen Chapin, love her channel. She said that um, she's been loving these Bolt House Farms salad dressings recently, so I got a couple to try. I'm really into the cilantro, avocado, lime flavor right now, so I had to get that, but then also got the Classic Ranch. We eat a lot of it, and it'd be nice to substitute some of those things that we eat a lot of with a healthier version just like coffee creamer. Now I didn't even get any coffee creamer this time. I do use it. I still have some in the refrigerator, but like my husband uses the sweet cream and then also the uh, Snickers. There's oil in this. I mean, the, I don't know. I'm going to try and make some of our own coffee creamer or just switch to heavy cream. We'll see. We'll see if I can get him to do it. I don't know. I'm going to try it. I got some spaghetti sauce. This again is one of those things that I was gonna try and like find a healthier version of that wasn't super expensive to the point where I couldn't afford it. Uh, I was looking for the oil. It has olive oil. The base, it's olive oil based rather than like canola oil or some of the inflammatory oil oils and it's not that expensive. It's not $5 a jar. I wanna say it was like 250 or something. Like I said, trying to make some substitutions, some healthier substitutions. Green chilies, this was a request by my husband. He loves adding green chilies to everything. Got a couple gallons of whole milk for the boys. And then this triple zero Oikos Greek yogurt I've been eating for a long time. And if you have a sweet tooth like me, it's, it's good on its own, but you can also add a couple tablespoons of whipped cream and it takes it from like good to, to excellent. <laughs> but I got the peach and then also the salted caramel. And then these are for the boys. Stony filled organic yogurt. They're little yogurt pouches with real fruit and veggies. It's hard for me to get veggies in them at all. Uh, so since this has some, it's it's a win-win for me. Now it does still have quite a bit of sugar, but it's less. So I got a big block of the pepper jack cheese for that cauliflower slow cooker side dish that I'm gonna make soon. And then I grabbed some turkey bacon and then these we have been obsessed with lately these uh, Golden Crispy Rounds by Or Ida. These are kind of expensive too, but these popcorn chicken, that, oh, these are so good. We oftentimes will use these for salads and then also like making buffalo chicken wraps. It's really, really good. And then this is the same Stonyfield Organic brand uh, yogurt. This is the little smoothies. So these are a nice treat for the kids too. And then instead of regular butter, which I've used forever, I'm gonna start using this, can't believe it's not butter, with olive oil when we need some butter. And then I also did get 
two cases of Diet Dr. Pepper. I used to be like addicted to Diet Mountain Dew and I, for whatever reason, I can't drink it anymore. It's probably my body telling me, hey, stop drinking this soda. I don't like it anymore. Take it, take a hint, Narissa. So I need to conquer that, that addiction, but we'll see. So anyway, stay tuned for some more videos coming up of some of the recipes that I mentioned and some dinner ideas and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.